Alright, we are going to be taking our decompressive laminectomy op report that we worked out in our previous video. I'll have a link in the description. And we are going to go into our PCS code book and actually build our code for this specific root operation. And I have not heard back from any coders yet about if release is still the proper or correct root operation, etc. When I get that update, I will let you all know, and then we will film a new video if we have to change it. So, for our root operation of release, in the previous video we went into the index under laminectomy, and then went to the body system. You could go to release or laminectomy, either one. We will go with laminectomy, excision, of lower bones, excision of upper bones, release of CNS, release of PNS. Since this is happening in the spine and we decided on release, we are going to choose release central nervous system, OON. So we are going to flip over to our central nervous system body system chapter. It's the very first chapter and it's in green. So our Section is an O, medical surgical, body system, central nervous system, that is an O as well, and our operation slash root operation is an N. Now let's go to our body part column, which is our fourth character of our code, and we want to look for lumbar spine, since in this operative report and procedure, they were doing a decompressive laminectomy of L3 through L5. So we are in the lumbar spine of the spinal cord. So if we look all the way down this table, we get to lumbar spinal cord, which is a Y. We go to our next column for the approach. I decided it was open. They weren't talking about a puncture they weren't using a scope to assist them in seeing the body part they were working on. They said incision, opened, dissection, deep retractors that were placed in the wound or incision. So that tells me open. So we're going to choose O for open. Device. Ah, no device. So we get to put a Z. And there's also no qualifier, so we get to put a Z again. Woo! So that would be our code for a decompressive laminectomy of the lumbar spine L3 through L5. O-O-N-Y-O-Z-Z. -Z. That was an easy one. Now I'd also, I think we're going to look at excision just to see. Just to see what that would do. So if we go back to laminectomy... Now the lumbar is in the lower bones, because lower bones is at the lumbar and then down all the way to your feet. So we would choose excision lower bones, OQB. Yeah, and in this table for excision, they have lumbar vertebra. So that would be if they're excising part of the bone, but in the previous video, again, I'll have a link in the description. I believe it should be released because there was an abscess in the epidural space and lumbar stenosis, and they were draining that purulent fluid from that abscess because I believe that was also causing pressure on the spinal nerves and... In conjunction with that, they were just taking off part of the spinous process so bone, to also make more space in the spinal cord and relieve that pressure. But since there was that purulent fluid that they were draining from the abscess, that's why I go with release, because they weren't just cutting off bone, they were also doing other aspects of the procedure that was relieving pressure on the spinal nerve. That's why I'm saying release. You would not code both. You would not do release and excision. You would not do that. Because with release, that encompasses anything that is done in a procedure that relieves pressure on the body part or the constraint of a body part. 
So if that's draining and excising, that's all wrapped in the release root operation. So that was an easy one. Hopefully my rationale makes sense. Hopefully I hear back from the coder soon so I can update you all on if this is the correct code for this procedure. If not, I can't wait to learn why this was incorrect and why the appropriate root operation, whatever that may be, what the reasoning behind that is, so then I can learn for in the future, and so you all can learn in the future. So subscribe to this channel if you want more videos on building PCS codes, ICD-10-CM, dissecting op reports for PCS coding, CPT coding, and A&P, anatomy and physiology. You will get updates on all the videos that I post, so you're always in the know. Comment below if you thought PCS coding for this procedure was super easy. I thought it was. If you have any questions that came up, put them in that comment so I can hopefully answer them or go find the answers if I do not know them already. Like this video if you enjoyed this setup and this topic. I'll see y'all later. Bye!